Welcome to the truly connected world. Here, everything is offered as a service. Here, data is free to flow, not to get stuck in a silo. Here, customers feel delighted, not defeated. And here, technology is the digital fabric that holds the connected world in place. Software AG is the software pioneer of this truly connected world. And we are here to help customers and partners integrate and connect everything to everything. Our global workforce of nearly 5,000 people in over 70 countries draws on our purpose to connect technology and people for a smarter tomorrow every single day. Our unique perspective has been the innovative, independent force to guide some of the world's best brands on their journey to becoming truly connected. With an unbeatable suite of products in hybrid integration and API management, IoT and analytics, and business transformation, we help our customers adapt to a truly connected way of working, where data and apps are shifting to the cloud, where decisions are being made by devices on the edge, where everything connects, regardless of platform or place, where everything, including analytics, is completely self-serve. We are committed to becoming the backbone for the world's data and to help improve lives in a smarter world. Our technology enables your app ordered coffee that is waiting on the counter to go, wind turbines that keep the power supply for your communities constant, or lending a helping hand to get your employees back to work safely. We at Software AG help the world's best enterprises to transform with purpose. This is our promise to you. Day 5 Connect Conference brought to you by Huawei and IoT and Engine Stream Partner Software AG. Enjoy the next session. Good afternoon, colleagues, and thank you for joining me as I um, provide you with some closing comments on this last week. So, firstly, allow me to thank you for joining this week um, at the 2021 Connect Conference. I really hope that you found the content informative and educational. Um, and thank you for all of those of you that have already reached out to us to tell us how much you enjoyed the content and um, and as well as the speakers. So, you know, colleagues, we've had a, a really long conversation this week, and we've touched on many aspects of the digital infrastructure um, sector. And, um, you know, it's really important for us to have these conversations and, and to discuss these these topics, you know, so that we can come up with solutions. And, um, and you know, the pandemic has been just this truly terrible occurrence in humans' history. And we will still probably for many years carry the adverse effect of it with us. But as the pandemic spread all over the world, and it also reached our continent, um, business and people have increasingly looked to connectivity as a means of staying productive um, and generating an income. The pandemic has literally catapulted us into the fourth industrial revolution. And even those people that didn't believe in the fourth industrial revolution, today is like teaming and Zooming and, and online shopping and actively participating in what we know now is the fourth industrial revolution. But technology is fast reshaping our world, and it has the potential to literally change everything. It'll change business, people, community, and our nation. Over the last months, as the world shut its doors and its borders, 
technology has kept families together. It has allowed teams to continue to collaborate on projects, and some businesses have even flourished. We've had online engagements, online weddings, online baby showers, and unfortunately, most of us have attended an online funeral. But through all of this, the internet has served humanity and hopefully changed the minds that the importance of technology has reverberated through our everyday life. Unfortunately, some people are still being left behind, and most specifically, our young people. There are too many people out there that are not as fortunate as we are and that have been further marginalized as a result of the pandemic. As we continued on our jobs, many companies were not so fortunate because they simply do not know how to digitally transform their business and how to leverage the internet. Many of our children could not continue their education because they simply did not have access to connectivity or they could not afford it. And one of our greatest concerns today is the matter of youth unemployment and social exclusion of our young people. Ironically, it is exactly this generation that is least afraid of technology and that are best set to capitalize on the digital economy. But more than anyone, they are the ones that remain excluded due to access. Our job as a sector is to respond to this dilemma and to ensure that we make digital transformation a reality. Digitalization touches on each and every sector and with it brings a myriad of opportunities for our people. There's also concern. People are scared that the adoption of technology is going to mean that there's going to be a bloodbath in many sectors as automation steps in and takes over jobs. But it is our job, us that understand the opportunities and what technology presents to reach out and support those sectors and to make sure that they understand that with this comes great opportunity. Globally, the digital economy has seen mass adoption, but we have the important task to make sure that all people are given an equal opportunity to participate in it. It's a big task ahead. And if we are going to do it right, we will have to consider our capacity to work together. We will have to be the solution. It's us, the sector, that will have to come up with the answers to the questions that's facing us on this digital economy. And much of it will be our ability to come together and to work together as a collective. This is where the Digital Council Africa tries to make a meaningful difference. One of our main aims is to bring together public and private sector to de deliberate on topics that can ensure that we achieve ubiquitous connectivity, that we fully harness the opportunities of the digital sector, that we move the needle on economic transformation. We can create jobs and build inclusive, sustainable sectors, not just in technology, but in all the sectors that technology is disrupting. This is not going to be an easy task, nor is it going to be a cheap one. But I know that by, by hosting events like this, we can talk to possible solutions, we can share ideas, we can stimulate dialogue, and we can continue to deliberate solutions even post this event so that we can achieve our goals. If we work together as public and private sector, if we can build trust amongst ourselves, I believe that together we can grow our sectors and create inclusive societies. Now allow me a moment to congratulate my planning team that was responsible for putting this year's event together. Risha Eyer, who meticulously scheduled diaries and rescheduled and rescheduled again. Your I have missed no detail. Thank you very much for the early mornings and the late nights. To Sipo Mahalema and his team, who tirelessly produced the content, re-recorded, edited, and re-recorded again when our internet or our bandwidth let us down. Thank you very much for your hard work. Nadine Rainier, 
who have spent days and nights producing information so that each one of us can be kept up to speed on what was happening. I want to thank this team for doing the heavy lifting on this event and by bringing all of this content together that will live with us forever. I really hope that each one of you will take a moment to distribute this, to share interesting dialogue and to make sure that everybody um, has an opportunity to participate in this event. We're inviting you to share your comments with us, reach out to us, please drop us an email and tell us what you want to listen to next. Throughout this coming year, we'll be hosting webinars and sharing more content with you, which hopefully will continue these debates that we have started in the 2021 Connect Conference. And now finally, without the support of our sponsors, this event would not have been possible. Thank you to all the names that have been this week throughout these events, this event on our branding. We really hope that you will reach out to them, that you will support them. They truly are subject matter experts and they really know what they're talking about. But let me name them. Firstly, our headline sponsor, Huawei. Thank you for stepping in, providing us the ability to host this event. Your ongoing support is really important to the Digital Council Africa. Liquid Intelligence Technology, our gold, gold sponsor, thank you for reaching out. This company is doing phenomenal and magnificent things, and we are very proud to be associated with you. Dark Fiber Africa, who has consistently been one of our greatest cheerleaders over the last decade. Thank you very much for once again stepping in and supporting this event. Outvise, one of our newer members, thank you very much for your generous support. We wish you all the best in your work on the African market. Please reach out, see who they are, and see how they can benefit your company. CBRE, another new member. Not only do I want to welcome you on board as a member, but I also want to thank you for believing in this event and coming online and supporting it. Software AG, our stream partner for IoT and Edge. Thank you for being willing to support us. You were one of the first companies to put up your hand to make things happen. We really appreciate your ongoing support. And then, of course, our event partners, the Rambi, the Youth, the Youth Employment Accelerator, with whom the Digital Council Africa has got a phenomenal relationship. We hope that this will grow and that it will become stronger and stronger over the next years as we work together. The Public-Private Growth Initiative, or the PPGI as it is known, Thank you for joining us. The IoT Industry Council, thank you for, for joining us. And of course, BAPESA. Now, on behalf of myself, the President of the Digital Council Africa, Dr. Andilia Nkaba, the Board of Directors, I give our close the 2021 Digital Council Africa Connects Conference. We look forward to seeing you in 2022. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we trust you enjoyed the session. Thank you to all our sponsors and partners for helping us bring this event to you.